Here's how I do Blanchitsu. Blanchitsu is a style based on the artwork of John Blanche. Very broadly, a Blanchitsu model is a grim dark model. Gritty, dark, unhealthy, overgrown, or dirty. Basically, if you can picture it on a death metal album, you're good to go. I may not fit the description perfectly, but this is how I do it. What you'll need. A mini and a base. Texture paste of some kind. You can use the official stuff or just mix some sand, baking soda, or whatever in some thick glue to make a paste. You'll also need some sort of stick to apply it. Tweezers. Roots and bark from outside. I have a little bin I crazily keep cool roots and bark I find. Please remember to boil or bake whatever you find outside to sanitize it. You don't want fungus growing on your mini. It's better to paint that on. I also use cork bark or sheets of cork. Foliage. I use static grass, grass tufts, and some moss stuff I found at a craft store. It doesn't matter what color you use, as everything will be painted later. Dried tea leaves. Bits to glue onto the base. Super glue. And a glove. First off, I like to add a little height to the base by gluing on a wood chip or some cork. This can give some visual variety to your squads, and also makes the base more interesting. I tried gluing the mini onto the wood chip right away, but it wouldn't stick because the wood chip didn't allow for enough contact with the foot, so I sanded down the mini's feet and the wood chip to make them flatter. After that is dried, cover the rest of the base with texture paste. It goes on a bit like rotten frosting. I don't worry too much about being clean, just about getting everything covered. Once you've applied the texture paste to the base, you can start doing my favorite part, applying texture and debris to the ground. I decided to add a tree made out of roots to the base. To help hold its main stump in place, I added some glue to the bottom of the stump and a little dollop of texture paste onto the base where I wanted it. Then I set it in place. I added some glue to another branch and stuck it onto the main body of the tree. Texture paste holds things in place and adds a little extra stability. That final layer of Mod Podge really helps strengthen the root so it can take being handled. Then go around the base and add grass tufts to wherever you think would look cool. It's very difficult to go wrong here. I like to cut little bits off the grass tufts to make smaller ones to fit in places I feel need a little lovin'. Adding bits to your base can make the scene more believable and lived in. I printed out a shield, cut off a bit, and then buried it into the paste. Next, I add some heavy rust or texture to the model by applying some of the texture paste directly onto it. I've seen some people apply this paste to the entire mini and wipe it down to a great effect. It really depends on how grungy you want the mini to look. This is also a great way to cover up print failures or less than seamless kit bashing. I then glued a cut up grass tuft onto the model. This was very frustrating and I cut out most of the struggling, so make sure you keep your tools clean and free of glue to avoid this. Next, take a pinch of static grass and sprinkle it onto the model and the base from above. Do the same with crushed up tea leaves. You can help the leaves stick by pushing them down to the paste with a finger. Before priming, the mini has a dropped lollipop vibe, but you can really see it all come together once you paint it. Here's how it looks fully painted in my version of Blanchitsu. Let me know if you want a tutorial on how I paint my Blanchitsu groundskeepers. Feel free to like and subscribe if you found that helpful. If you have any feedback or suggestions, leave a comment below. Alright, bye bye